I did it myself. I got off on it. That's what Elizabeth Hasem said about the murders of her own parents, Derek and Nancy Hasem. They were killed in 1985, and Elizabeth made the statement about 15 months later in 1986 during an interrogation. She was talking to the cops, and she told them, I did it myself, I got off on it. Elizabeth's confession is actually available on audio tape. Let's listen to it. You knew you was going to do it, didn't you? Did you? I did it myself. That was silly. I got off on it. What does that mean? You heard what she said. I did it myself. I got off on it. And then the cops say, what's that supposed to mean? And she says, I was only being facetious. That's like saying it's only a joke. Think about that. I've got a little question here. Who would make a joke about the murders of her own parents? So what happened next in this interrogation? The cops simply accepted that explanation that it was just a joke. Does that sound right to you? You have two people murdered in a horrible way. And you've got the daughter saying, I did it myself, I got off on it. And there's not one single follow-up question. Does that sound right to you? Does that sound like good police work? Look, I made a confession as well. Now, I say it was a false confession, but fact is, I gave the police a statement in which I said I did it. But in my case, the police simply accepted my confession as the truth. And that's not what they do with Elizabeth. And I can't understand that. I just can't. Now, the confession I gave, the false confession, had a lot of details in it. And that's true. A lot of those details are not correct. But my confession was detailed. And my critics will say, Elizabeth's confession, I did it myself, I got off on it, did not have a lot of details in it. It was just a short statement. That's true. But that's because no follow-up questions were asked. What if the cops had actually asked her a series of questions? Maybe she would have spilled the beans. Maybe she would have given more details about what happened at the crime scene. So the question is, why should the cops have asked her more questions? Well, her fingerprints were found at the crime scene, a shoe print, her shoe size, was found at the crime scene, and cigarette butts of her brand were also found at the crime scene. That's three solid reasons to ask some more questions but it just didn't happen. Just as a side note, no fingerprints of mine were found at the crime scene. The shoe print was way too small to be mine, and I was a non-smoker, so I didn't leave those cigarette butts there. To top it all off, FBI Special Agent Ed Sulzbach had created an FBI profile. This was discussed in a previous documentary movie, and I'm gonna show you a clip of what FBI Agent Sulzbach said about his profile. We're dealing with uh somebody's close to these people. And that I suggested to the investigators. I uh, settled on her daughter, because Mrs. Hasem was a very proper woman. And I came to the conclusion pretty quickly that it was someone they knew very well. You heard that? He settled on the daughter, Elizabeth Hasem. The cops who were questioning her knew that as well, in addition to the fingerprint, the shoe print, and the cigarette butts. Why didn't they ask any more questions? What was wrong with those people? One more time. They had four things that spoke against Elizabeth Hasem, and they had none that spoke against me. Yet, my confession is accepted as gospel truth, and nobody's at all interested in her confession, even though there's a lot that speaks for its truthfulness. Now I want to give you the main reason why Elizabeth's confession was plausible. It's not actually the first sentence that she said, it's the second sentence that she said. Remember, she said, I did it myself, I got off on it. I want to focus on that second sentence, I got off on it. Any cop who looks at the case of Derek and Nancy Hasem's murders will tell you that it was a case of overkill. That means the crimes were excessively brutal. Uh, I don't want to show you the photographs because they really are gruesome, but I'm going to show you the autopsy reports so you can see what number of injuries there were and how deep those injuries were. Now look at those autopsy sketches and think about it. Does that match the statement, I got off on it? Does it? The victim's throats were cut almost to the spine. 
and there were dozens and dozens of stab wounds. Doesn't that suggest to you that whoever did this got off on it? And now ask yourself, why should I, Yen Suring, get off on killing these poor people? I didn't even know them. I had met them for 30 minutes about six weeks earlier. Why should I get off on it? If you think that I might have killed Derek and Nancy Hasem out of love for Elizabeth Hasem, why would I do it like that? Why would I do it in such a horrible, horrible way? That makes no sense at all. Now let me tell you about somebody who did have a reason to, as she said herself, get off on it. Nancy Hasem, Elizabeth's mother, took nude photographs of her own daughter. There's no dispute about that. And 30 years later, Elizabeth gave an interview to the Richmond Times Dispatch where she said that her own mother had sexually abused her for eight years. Now, on a human level, you can understand that somebody who was victimized like that would feel a lot of rage, a lot of hatred. And what I'm going to ask you is, if somebody has been treated like that, victimized sexually, wouldn't that person then get off on killing the people who had done that to her? I don't know, but I can well imagine that a little girl who was treated like that would build up so much rage in herself that it would end up in a horrible crime like this. And the real question, folks, is why didn't the cops who knew about the nude photographs ask Elizabeth about that when she said, I got off on it? But they didn't ask her one single question. And Netflix didn't tell you about any of this. People ask me, why I don't just stop talking about the case and leave it rest? Folks, there's a really easy answer for that. I did not commit this crime. And I think we all know who did. And it makes me mad that the cops screwed up back then. And it makes me mad that Netflix screwed up in 2023 when they released that ridiculous documentary, which didn't even tell you about Elizabeth's confession.